watch the fight boxing talk back with another one this time we're talking about jesus ramos versus joey spencer so subscribe share comment for me while i get into the video this was one of the fights on the benavidez versus plant undercard that happened on march 25th of 2023 first of all shout outs to both fighters for just showing up and stepping into the ring and giving us a show both of the fighters joey and jesus they both look great at the weigh-ins and um, coming into the fight they also looked really good they were in great physical condition on that specific night that fight card there was another ramos fighting which was abel ramos that is the uncle of jesus ramos so um jesus's uncle fought cody crowley that night he took an l but he fought well and so um i think that's pretty cool for uncle and nephew to be on the same fight card so i just wanted to point that out that they both fought that night so that was dope in this fight though with the uh, jesus ramos versus joey spencer uh, jesus was noticeably bigger than uh, joey spencer right it was like watching David versus Goliath fight. And um, this time Goliath won, all right? <laughs> um, so pretty much throughout the rounds, it was pretty much domination by, by Jesus Ramos. He controlled that entire fight. He imposed his will the entire time and it was pretty much just watching him, you know, do his thing. In round one, round one started off really good it was it was uh, a lot of action in that round i would say that was joey spencer's best round he was very active and he was controlling the pace um he pretty much controlled the, the fight the entire round one until about the last 25 seconds we almost caught him with a clean shot a, a clean left uh hook i believe and pretty much he knocked him down right so up until that point, me personally, I was given that round to um, to Spencer, but due to that and the way it ended up, I would I, on my specific scorecard, I gave that round to Ramos because of that knockdown. It was a clean shot, wonderfully placed. And then we got well before we even get to round two, I also gave round one to Spencer because, like I said, he was very active. And uh, Jesus Ramos, he wasn't all that active. He was more uh, defensive. And I think that he was just kind of downloading information to figure out Joey Spencer. So he was very attentive in that round. Wasn't really doing too much, just kind of figuring out, you know, Spencer's style and how to pick his shots. So moving to round two, I gave round two to Ramos as well. He started letting his hands go in that round. He was doing some, some uh, good work and he pretty much controlled the fight all of that entire round. Round two, Ramos controlled it, gave that round to him. Third round, I gave that one to Ramos as well. He pretty much was showing like his, his left hand, how dangerous it is. Like he was catching him with some good left shots, left hooks, jabs and stuff. And um, he pretty much dominated round three, you know. Moving on to round four, I also gave that to Ramos. Spencer, he didn't really have too many answers. He didn't have any answers to a lot of the um, shots that that uh, Ramos was landing. So round four, I gave that to Ramos. You can tell that Joey Spencer was starting to wear down. Like he was taking some big shots, some hard punches, and, and you can see that he was kind of slowing down and he was guarding more, uh, getting a little bit more defensive than he was uh, earlier at the left hooks in round four from Ramos nasty nasty hooks Ramos even like he he walked up to Spencer and had his guard down and he ate like four punches or so from from Spencer and they didn't face him at all they did nothing to him he, he walked right through those punches without even guarding them he just took them and then he fired off some shots and he was hurting uh, Spencer that round so dominant round for Ramos then we got to round five. I also gave round five to Ramos. In that round, uh, Spencer started to push the pace a little bit more. Maybe they told him, maybe they switched the game plan in the corner last break, but he started pushing the pace a little bit more. And he was trying to experiment and get active and see if he can, you know, do something to to turn the maybe the scoring around in his favor. So 
he was pushing the pace a little bit more and that's where Ramos kind of started downloading again he got a little defensive just kind of seeing like what he had to work with uh, from from Spencer so he's downloading the information and he's kind of you know picking his shots and figuring out you know if he needs to switch anything in his game but wasn't uh wasn't uh, Spencer didn't do too much that round. He tried, but still gave it to Ramos. Ramos still did the better work in that round. After that, we got to round six, and kind of similar. Ramos is downloading more information because Spencer he's trying to go on the attack. He's trying to turn the tides. Not too much luck there, but he tried. And. After that, we made it to round seven. Round seven was the final round. I gave round seven to Ramos as well. He was downloading some information in that round, and then he was uh, picking his shots, landing some nice lefts as usual. And it ended up where uh, Spencer's corner stopped the fight. His dad called the fight off, and that was the end of the match. So in round seven, he was definitely taking a beating from, from Ramos. And so I think it was a good call that his dad stopped it because it was just going to get more brutal as if the rounds would have continued to that 10th round. So good call on, on his dad's part for Joey Spencer. He, he waved it off. Fight was over. Ramos won. Ramos was very comfortable in that round. He was letting his hands go. He was uh, just having fun and, and, you know, imposing his will. But yeah, after that, you know, fight was over. I liked the sportsmanship there was good sportsmanship after the fight i think jesus ramos he's just naturally a class act because even at the weigh-ins he was showing respect uh, to joey spencer as well so great fight kudos to jesus ramos congratulations to him on a really dominant win great performance i do want to see him fight fundora at 154 i think that would be a good matchup very interesting because Fundora is very rangy. Uh, Ramos is very strong. He's powerful. So I'd love to see how, how that fight plays out. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So anywho, if you guys made it to this point, this is the part where you got to like the video for me. All right. But also for you, because it's good for your health. It's good for your karma. And it's good for your luck.